What's up creatives? This is Tom. Welcome back to another video. I apologize in advance for how much of a state my room is. We're in the midst of Christmas, Christmas shopping, Christmas wrapping, all of that stuff. But hey, the video train goes on. I have a super exciting one for you today. It's another camera rig setup video. I know you guys like these, but what I want to do is take you through building a slightly more budget uh, camera setup. That's the thing with the Pocket 4K is the, all of the additions do add up. This is a little bit more budget friendly. The camera is the A6500, Sony A6500. And we're basically just rigging that up to be a little bit more pro, a little bit more suited to all day shooting. This is the rig here. So obviously I'm going to show you sort of each element, each little sort of component in this rig. And I will be breaking down sort of each individual item and showing you how to build this setup from the ground up. All right, so we've got the uh, entire rig here. This is the full rig. Um, sort of after it's all built. And the only thing I don't have is a couple of cables, uh, which I'll run through in a minute. Uh, the monitor cable I'm using on the monitor I'm filming this on at the moment. Uh, but apart from that, this is pretty much the full setup. So now we're gonna tear it down and I'm gonna go uh, go through building it sort of start to finish. All right, so these are all of the components re sort of required in the build. Obviously, first of all, we have the Sony a6500, uh, pretty self-explanatory. It is inside a small rig cage, um, standard a6500 uh, small rig cage, but it's also got the right uh, handed wooden adapter, which I think for a cage or a camera of this size just makes a massive difference because you sort of can grip uh, that much, much easier. Um, and this cage does not come off this camera for me. Uh, even if I'm shooting stills, shooting photos, I always keep it in this cage. Just one, it is protected. And two, it is just a lot more manageable in terms of size. I feel like I can actually hold the camera in place versus this is just a tiny camera, as you can see. Uh, from the top there, that's the edge of the body, it's just almost no grip. So having this little addition does make a big difference. Then first of all, almost right off the bat, we're going to put on a lens. So this is the Sigma MC11 uh, adapter. I will just put that on the front. What this is gonna let me do is attach uh, Canon EF lenses uh, to this mount. I am basically trying to build up my collection of EF uh, mounted glass because I shoot with a pocket cinema camera as well. So this is the Sigma uh, 70 to 200 uh, f2.8, which I have recently purchased. Um, so let me know if you guys would like to see a video on that. It is an awesome telephoto lens. Um, particularly for video, which is why I got it. Uh, so can't wait to test this out a little bit more. But this lens will sort of really allow you to almost step up your uh, video game a little bit when you're using a camera like this, just because it is a really high quality piece of glass. Obviously not really fitting into the budget quota that we talked to at the start, but you could easily put a slightly cheaper lens on this body and accomplish some cracking photo and video. Next up, what we're gonna do is attach a top handle to this setup, immediately just give yourself way more stability using a top handle. This is a small rig NATO rail top handle and just a little hack for anyone that doesn't know, you can attach a NATO rail handle to any small rig cage. I'm pretty confident it's any small rig cage. With this rail up here, the top rail is a NATO rail, so you don't need an additional uh, attachment. Just get purchase a NATO rail, NATO top handle, and then you can slide that right on. So let's just do that now. That goes on like this. It's actually being blocked with a lens, so I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> without the lens on, and then I can attach a lens afterwards. So let's tighten that up just like that. And then I can attach the lens again. So there we go, much more stable shot you'll be getting uh, just using that sort of setup. And the nice thing about these Sony line of cameras, the Sony a6500, etc., is that they have a reversible uh, screen. So you could get away with this setup using it without a monitor, which is great because you can sort of hold your handle like this and then almost like view your footage down uh, where the monitor is uh, articulating out, which is great. But we are going to put a monitor on this setup. 
This is a Fearworld Master MA5 monitor. It is a really great choice for just a almost like a budget option. I think this was around 150 pounds, 150, 160 uh, US dollars. So a really great option for a display. Not quite as good as uh, sort of slightly more professional uh, monitors like the Atomos or uh, other variations, but Fearworld have done a great job with this little monitor. So we can attach this on to the top handle hot shoe just like that tighten that up and feel what gives you this bracket this monitor here and you don't need to purchase anything additional though you could if you wanted to purchase a, a small rig monitor mount and you probably just get things looking a little bit tighter not quite as high as you can see but again that's a bit of a nice to have but definitely could be a customization for this rig then we have sony mpf batteries this will power the monitor and will power the a6500 so we can just put this onto the back of the battery just uh, excuse me the monitor that just slides in just like that and then we're kind of ready uh, to go the only thing left to do is to use this cable right here this is the um this is a dummy uh, power cable for the a6500 so this can connect to the uh, ma ma5 a monitor and actually power the camera itself so we can just pop the camera door the battery door open uh, and put in the uh, battery just like that the Sony a6500 actually has a little door so you can actually get the uh, battery door closed which is great close it up just like that and then this one can connect to the uh, power on the uh, monitor plug that in just like that and then that will be able to power your a6500 for a pretty extended period of time two of these mpf batteries will be able to power your monitor and the camera for most of the day shooting so give yourself a full day of shooting with this setup i think my only thing right now the only sort of way i want to uh, improve the rig slightly is to shorten this cable get an alternative or uh, somehow shorten this cable so that it's not quite as long and also get a slight shorter HDMI cable to a mini HDMI cable for this monitor because again you will need one of those cables I'm using it right now on my monitor to monitor this footage that you're uh, watching at the moment you just need a slightly smaller uh, cable just to make sure this is a bit tighter but you will need one of those cables as well and I will link one down below in the description there we go guys hopefully you have enjoyed that video I definitely enjoyed building this rig and just I guess giving my Sony a6500 a bit of a lease a new lease of life I definitely can't wait to bring this setup on maybe a trip with me this rig does solve a lot of the problems that the a6500 does things like not being able to shoot all day having to carry around uh, five or six batteries if you needed to do that and obviously also just being being a pretty small camera so rigging it up beefing it up a bit putting the top handle on does make a lot of difference if you found this video helpful please drop a comment down below and a like on the video and i'll catch you guys in the next one